Welcome to this presentation from EGS India. This presentation is titled Why Buy It SolidWorks? 8 Solid Reasons Why Customers Have Invested in SolidWorks and Reaped the Benefits as a Result of This of Investment. We hope you enjoy this presentation. What do industries want? Industries always want their product development to be done in such a way that first time right happens. Least cost designs is always the goal of organizations. Consistent product quality, improved customer satisfaction, value analysis and value engineering, shortest possible product development time, improved USP for their products, and increased profitability. These are the reasons why customers would want to invest in SolidWorks. Let's look at how this is possible. Before that, let's look at which are the areas in which SolidWorks finds its usage. Presence of SolidWorks occurs across many spectrum of industries, starting with the consumer industry, to the packaged goods industry, to the high technology industries, to the energy power and process, material handling, electronics and devices, industrial machinery, medical equipments and life sciences, shipbuilding industry, the automotive industry specifically in the area of tooling for the automotive sector, the tier 1 and the tier 2 product design usage as well as in the aerospace industries. The versatility of SolidWorks is its ease of use across multiple spectrum of vertical segments as shown over here. One of the reasons why SolidWorks has been adopted by varied industries is its powerful capabilities to lend itself to the requirements and the challenges of the customers across varied segments. How does SOLIDWORKS address all these challenges that we have set forth in the earlier slide? SOLIDWORKS addresses the design for cost, design for manufacture, design for quality paradigms as required by contemporary manufacturing industries. Marketing by design is a strength of SOLIDWORKS. Improved productivity in design is a given thing with SOLIDWORKS. Collaborative engineering is the reason why SOLIDWORKS has been popular. Design for performance and best-in-class processes are something that SOLIDWORKS helps customers integrate in their organization for higher productivity, higher profitability, and better accountability. Design for cost. Customers have been looking at ways and means of reducing cost. It could be in the purchase department where the supplier is asked to reduce his prices. It could be in the tooling department. It could be in the manufacturing department in terms of the cycle time. Assembly department in terms of the cycle time. Investments, making them low so that the overall cost of manufacturing comes down. Just in time inventory. All these things are different ways and means by which companies are trying to reduce their costs so that their profitability is intact and the customers get lower prices. However, if the same costs were given as targets to the design department and the design department starts estimating the manufacturing cost at the design stage itself, then it is possible to do a design optimization for cost, something that is driven towards the goals of the organization. So customized inputs in costing based on the company and the regional conditions can be provided. In terms of templates, one of the reasons why this is popular is because Assessment of the manufacturing cost for both the sheet metal and the machine parts in real time with automatic updates every time the design is changed is possible with SOLIDWORKS. So in other words, if a design engineer is asked for a 10% cost reduction in the product, it is quite possible that he has the alternatives to do the same and see whether he can arrive at the same without affecting the fit form and functional requirements of the design. This is one of the unique selling points that the customers exploit SOLIDWORKS with. That's the reason, one of the reasons why SOLIDWORKS is highly popular in the manufacturing industry. Design for manufacture. How many times we have seen that ECOs and ECNs are being raised, retooling is being done, rework is being done, rejections are increasing, primarily because we were unable to address the design for manufacture requirements or the manufacturability requirements of the design stage. Since design Engineers may or may not know the manufacturability techniques. 
it's easy for SOLIDWORKS to integrate this as a process in the organization so that the design for manufacturability is addressed upfront, giving meaningful contributions in the design review meetings with manufacturing and inspection and quality. So the customer would be able to compare the design to standard manufacturing rules to assess if the design can be produced. What are the bottlenecks in the process of producing the design upfront? So a dashboard information gives the designer how good or healthy his designs are from a manufacturability standpoint. Quickly understand if the parts can be easily removed from the mold, casting or the farm tooling. Easily assess if the sheet metal parts can be developed from flat stock. Drilled hold or milled features or turned parts can be checked for their efficacy with regard to manufacturability. Sheet metal checks hold diameters versus available tooling. Hold to edge distances, hole spacing, bend radii, etc. So many other things can be checked at the design stage itself. Standard hole checks checks the holes versus available tooling. For example, the depth to diameter ratio. If we did not give a proper depth to diameter ratio, the tool could wander, leading to the inability to maintain the position tolerances or the perpendicularity tolerances of the hole. Or the holes. It could lead to tool breakage and the people could keep replacing the tools when all they had to do was check the drill depth to the diameter ratio and ensure that it is within the manufacturability norms. Injection molding checks again, maximum and minimum wall thickness checks can all be done inside SOLIDWORKS specifically to address the manufacturability issues at the design stage. One of the required ingredients for getting it first time right. Design for quality. If quality paradigms are enumerated at the design stage and we are upfront checking to understand if the quality paradigms are going to be met, then first time right becomes a priority, it becomes a reality and becomes achievable. That's what TAL Analyst does. TAL Analyst is a tolerance stack up analysis software available inside SOLIDWORKS which looks at the part tolerances and their effects on the assembly and gives you the information with regard to the minimum and the maximum tolerance stack ups and the square root of sum of squares that can be used for plus or minus 3 sigma and it helps us to understand the list of the contributing features leading to the critical to quality indices and the specified tolerances for that. A very handy tool indeed for customers who are seeking for ways and means to reduce their quality burden and ensure that the first time right happens. Once integrated at a part of the process, the things that can go wrong are avoided or eliminated at the design stage itself. Marketing by design. A picture is worth a thousand words. Then what is a video worth? Today, even on a mobile, we are able to convey information to the customers using the videos or the pictures. Why can't we do the same thing about our products? How can we leverage our product information available in 3D across the organization specifically with regard to marketing to obtain orders? This is where realism comes into picture. Customer trust comes into picture because the customer is upfront able to see exactly what he's going to get. And thanks to SOLIDWORKS, what you see is what you get. That's exactly where marketing uses SOLIDWORKS to disseminate information across the organizations in the customer's place, as well as internally to the organization to ensure that the first time right happens. Productivity in design. A lot of times we are faced with problems that one designer puts a drawing in a certain way, another designer does the calculation in a different way. Standardization of the same is easily possible and embedding the knowledge of the same is easily possible based on rules. So improvement productivity as a result of automating the design process for error-free drawing development now becomes a reality with SOLIDWORKS with the DryWorks Express which is sitting inside SOLIDWORKS. So faster drawing generation even at the RFQ stage for the requirements of the sales team is possible without spending much of time in advance. The advantage of this is a faster customer response 
The advantage of this is a better estimation of the bill of materials, more accurate cost estimation, leading to a higher probability of closing a sale for your organization as a result of leveraging on the 3D data as developed by SOLIDWORKS. The faster response to the customer requests helps us to get win orders with more accurate drawings than it would have been possible otherwise. Collaborative engineering. Imagine taking a three-dimensional model and a two-dimensional drawing to the customer all in one in one interface called the e-drawings and providing the information in two dimensions and suddenly the object becomes a three-dimensional model as shown over here where the customer is able to look through the model, see how it works, see how that, assess whether the functionality is protected, so on and so forth, so that the customer approves the three-dimensional model easily. Supplier integration becomes seamless. Its interoperability with Creo Pro Engineer, Solid Edge, Autodesk Inventor is one of the truly improved strength of SolidWorks, especially in the area of collaborative engineering. Performance. A lot of times people have teething problems in performance, leading to agonizing waits at the customer place to replace parts, to check what went wrong, or to provide replacement of the components, thereby leading to loss of trust. So, upfront, the customers, our customers using SolidWorks, are able to estimate the forces, the factor of safety, optimize for life. Perform value analysis and value engineering right inside a single window interface called the SOLIDWORKS. So the customers are in a position to do their validation using SOLIDWORKS simulation, all the way from simple static analysis of assemblies, to heat transfer calculations, to computational fluid dynamics calculations, to non-linear calculations, to dynamic behavior assessment, and for optimization based on the CAD dimensions. One of the unique selling points of SOLIDWORKS is its ability to optimize a design based on parameters which are nothing but toleranced dimensions. The strength of SOLIDWORKS lies in its capabilities to provide motion simulation, event-based simulation, to see how machines, mechanisms, and actuation systems are able to perform in real time even before the first prototype has been developed. One of the strengths of SOLIDWORKS in terms of affordability, in terms of performance, in terms of capability, is its ability to do quick checks on designs to assess their performance in terms of fit, form, and function. So the best-in-class processes dictate the incorporation of the DFMEA, DFMEA meaning the design, failure, modes, effects, and analysis within the CAD data. So the DFMEA, along with the RPN, which is nothing but the risk priority number, gets integrated with the CAD data and it travels along with the CAD data from user to user. Of course, it can be encrypted. Once this happens, all the knowledge that went into the creation of the design in the first place is captured and the IPR is protected for the organization. Additionally, Microsoft Excel calculations or spreadsheet calculations to drive design dimensions is possible using SOLIDWORKS. Next, validate the designs for cost and performance. Ensure consistent quality of the product based on the CTQs as given by Tall Analyst. Upfront engineering for manufacturing and inspection. Incorporation of the voice of the customer and doing it once and getting it right. These are the best in class practices if implemented with SOLIDWORKS helps customer customers with assured return on investment not only on their solid works but also on their designs so the answers to the customer's requirement are is first time right possible absolutely is least cost designs possible yes if the process is incorporated is consistent product quality now becoming a reality yes it is improved customer satisfaction because what you see is what you get that's the mantra of SOLIDWORKS with regard to product design and development so that there are no surprises when the job one comes out of the factory shop floor. The first parts of the assemblies which come out of the shop floor and the 100,000 parts of the assembly which comes out of the shop floor should have the same consistent quality. That is quality is job one. 
that gives the improved customer satisfaction that SOLIDWORKS drives. Value analysis and value engineering is a forte of SOLIDWORKS that has been exploited by customers day in and day out for progressive designs for least cost. Value as the customer perceives it, not value as we as product designers perceive it. The shortest possible product development time comes in is possible only because we are doing the upfront testing on the digital side before the prototypes are developed and tested. The improved USP for their products so that the customers perceive your products in a better light and they are able to pay for the value what they think they are getting. Increased profitability is really a possibility on account of all these capabilities that lie within SOLIDWORKS. Did you like this video? If you say yes, please give us a like. We would be happy to have your comments so that we can provide improved videos of similar nature so that you would be able to invest in SOLIDWORKS and make the best out of your SOLIDWORKS investment. Get in touch with us. We are EGS India, the authorized reseller of SOLIDWORKS in India. You can always reach us on info at egs.co.in or visit our websites at www.egs.co.in or egsindia.com. Have a good day.